All right, we're gonna get going on the disassembly of this uh, microwave down converter. It's got a bad internal standard, so we're gonna take that out of there. Quite an involved uh, process. Did it once before, we'll see. And I couldn't remember where all the cables went. I didn't take a picture, so this time we're gonna do a video. <clears throat> so these are uh, T9s holding this together. T9, okay, there it is, here we go, and lots of screws on the cover. Well, you're definitely not calibrated anymore, so let's, uh, don't worry about the stickers. I need an electric screwdriver. That's okay. All right, almost ready to reveal the microwave beauty that lies within inside of this instrument. Are you ready? So this is the beast we're after here. It is on, this whole plate has to come out. So. All right, here we go. Not so bad taking it apart, it's after it gets fixed and returned six weeks from now, uh, getting it back together. Okay, just take off some of these cables, put them out of the way. No real procedure for this. I think any competent person could do it. screw. Lucky we came in here. Not too worried about ESD here. I've got a mat down and uh, I might put on a wrist trap once I get the module out. Take him out. 
over here. This guy out. Okay. What else? Well, this is where the fun comes in. All this plumbing. Because this whole module has to come out. So, to carefully select what we need to remove here. Not all of it, but certainly some of it. So, for sure this guy. Take this one out. Almost cost a fortune to develop this thing. So there's first cable. Set him up there. Get my head in here and see where this goes. Uh, just disconnect one here, this end only. Let's see here. Uh, this is going to be fun. This is over here, the front panel. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this now. Fun. But these fit so nicely, it's almost uh, too easy. Okay. We'll be able to snake that out of there without taking more stuff off. Let's see here. Get this end off first. And slide him out. Um, okay, let's take this detector loose. Okay. Took it off, yeah. Okay. Um, but that definitely I did not take loose, and that is kind of an important one, I think. Well, they're all important, but yeah, not everything's used for. Can't get in there with a wrench, so but that should come out. You know, I think we'll just keep moving and see what happens when we lift this up. Okay, let's get these loose. same so we can put those in the same pile all right let's see here so this moves at all what do I need to do next That guy on the bottom. Yep, I remember this now. Not impossible, but almost. And that is that's the yellow output. Maybe we can get that guy loose here. There we go. here. FYI, I should look at the video once in a while, see if it can be seen. Anyway, so only two cables removed fully. Let's see if we 
looks like we've got a little interference here. I'm gonna leave that connected just because these are becoming obnoxious. Stay. Let's see, I'll get this guy. Maybe we can use that guy to trap him. There we go. All right. Let's see what happens now. Okay, clearly nothing until this guy comes loose. Little 085 here. Everything's 141. I love everything. Some 085. I wonder why they use different diameter coax. Hmm. The 085 has got a different connector on the other end. I don't even know what you call those. Oh, that's loose too. Look at that. That's a quarter inch naturally. That can stay. Let's see here. Somebody's holding me up. Looks like the screw is interfering on this card here. All right. So out you go. Ugh. And this guy. Oh, that was loose too. Previous hack didn't tighten everything. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, they left a little handle for you to pull it out. Isn't that cute? Whoops. Supply. They never tell you. Looks power supply e sense. Oh, uh, yig driver, I bet. Yig tune filter, yeah. Yig driver. Okay. Cool. I need to get the old shop vac in here. The ESD shop pack, of course. Oh, this has got to come off. Okay, it goes over there. Ninety-two. Okay, we're getting close now. Um, something. Is that going to come with it? Yep. Okay, maybe I can wiggle this cable. Now. Man. I can see that's going to be the fun one. On the way back, oops, I could have got it under there. Let's go under there. Oh, yeah. Jenga. Let's bring this up a little bit. Why won't it come up in the back? I don't know. Maybe it's just cockeyed. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Out, out. Let's see here. Oops. Okay, I can see. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Okay, there's one way deep down there. Oh, I can't get it back in. <laughs> Pardon my head. Okay. J5's got to come off there. So deep down, I'm going to get a close up here. Wish I had that. So, 
this cable here goes down here and connects down there. Well, can't focus J5. That's a quarter inch. All right. Stand by. Um, let's see, what's one quarter of 25.4, six millimeters, will it fit? Can I even get it down there? Uh, gotta lower this puppy back down. You can do it, there we go. Okay, notice they got this guy out. Oops, a little bendy, that's all right, they do bend. They are sort of flexible. Uh, actually, that's got to come out too. That's got this guy as well. Goes down to an assembly underneath. And I will read the number off in a second here. All right. 16 minutes in, almost there. That goes to, can't quite read it, J2 on the assembly underneath the module extracted. You know what? I think I had to take out this module. That makes sense. Work smarter, not harder. I know this has got to come off because it's connected to the output relay. fold over. Why are not you all folding over us? So you can't get past that connector. Okay. That might be enough. Scoot. Alright. Okay, I think that was the key. In here, see if I can start rotating that guy. Oh, not yet. Let's try a wheel wrench. There we go. Man, how did they design this in the early 90s? I suppose. HP would have had all the design tools though that were up to date. All right, it's a little stubborn. That's going to be fun to get back on. Can't wait.
Okay, why won't it turn anymore? It's in the last half a thread. Okay. the routing. Okay. Three, four cables out. Now this guy I'll contend it was a six millimeter. Okay. Trick here is to make a few turns, push out on the connector. There we go. And all right, prepare for extraction. Here we go. One more. There's a hole. Well, this one has. Certainly, they used a variety of connectors here. J1, cable 21. And. No one's holding us up. I guess I'm a little tangled around there. Terry ribbon cables. I stole it from Dave Jones. <clears throat> but he's right. Most of the time. <clears throat> okay. I don't know why that had to go under there. But anyway, I'm going to put that back because that will never get noticed if I don't. Screw it down now. This is the connector to the YIG, the YIG, the oscillator. This is Wenzel's uh, small fry oscillator. Really nice. It's got a, actually has a vacuum doer inside of it where the crystal lives. Um, not sure what all that does, but they don't make it anymore, but they're gonna try to fix it. So I think we're loose. Oh, one more. Got a cable going to this output amplifier here. Wow, that's tight too. Oh, okay, cable 725 goes right there. Side while I set this aside out of the yeah. all right our work is not yet done to further complicate this this thing is can't get at the mounting screws they're underneath this plate so Let me see here. What did I do? I think I have to... I'll just start taking screws out, see what happens. I think I have to take this plate off. See what else could cause problems here. This looks like a resistor mount there. Hopefully this, this block will come off. Well, 
I don't need to take those off. That's the, or do I? That's the EOS or EOS filter. So, anyway. All right. side okay of course these are different put those over there I should just look at the other one I got you know what I'm gonna do that before I get too far oh uh, set that up there one moment This is from our dead unit, which I already scavenged the oscillator. Um, I have no idea. It looks like I got those screws loose. Don't worry, I have all the parts. Okay, this one had bad amplifiers. Unfixable. Oakley. Let's just keep going here. zoom in. It's too hard for me to keep it in the frame. Yeah, just point out all the screws. SMA connector screws here, 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 here. Let's see, are we even loose yet? Nope. Okay. right there underneath this no me gusta ah, okay so out with this amplifier I'm going to wear my wrist strap now Let's see if this guy it's cooked. I'm going to be cooked also. And this is going to be covered in the white schmoo. Oh, that is way over done. expert on torque, but it seemed pretty tight to me. Why is this not moving? Oh, looks like they've got a sill pad under there. Okay. Window. Okay. I'm going to gen gently and expertly. There we go. Careful with the pin. Ooh. Oh, my 
guess that back comes on tight. Don't like the way that's going. Is there something under? Oh yeah, of course there is. How can? So there's a screw underneath this one. So this means I have to take out both of these guys. This is where 3D modeling could have come in handy for all these interferences. Cable number one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Just don't forget where that goes. I'm going to leave it down here. Okay. Oh, it's so close. So close. Why? Okay. Okay, slide him loose. Okay. Remember, all you gotta do is get this up enough to get this at the screws on the oscillator. And there's a screw in it. Slide of the yig that is interfering. Once again, 3D modeling would have helped. I'm not messing with that because that looks like a tuning screw or something. Okay then, be that way. There. That'll warn you. Oof. Okay. Spoke too soon. Won't come off. <laughs> I gently, oh, they're going to yell at me if I pry up on that. Let's, uh, oh, come on. bang on that filter. Okay, I'm just gonna use my fingers. Ouch, ouch. That's not worth moving at all. What in the world? Okay. What I'm doing, I'm gonna put a screw in, but not all the way. I'm gonna push down from the top. 
and maybe we can launch it. All right. This cable, I think I'm going to take it off. Oof! There's our input mixer. Remick Magnum. And another one. I'll leave that down here. All right. Should lay. No, it won't lay flat because of that. Something to push on. Stand by. There we go. Piece of metal. That was scary. Well, hopefully all the wire bonds held in the gig. What could I have done differently? I don't know. I suppose I could have heated it up. Impatience being what it is. did that. I couldn't get this lifted up and off. Oh, at last. Exposed. That only took 37 minutes and 24 seconds. Wait for the reassembly video. All right, we are done. We have our, uh, I don't know which way this video is going, so. Uh, hmm? Our Wenzel quartz oscillator, she's a beauty. Looks like it's got a serial number here. That looks like an HP serial number. Looks like an original equipment. So the serial number on this unit is from 19... I think it was 98. Anyway. That's all for now.